are y'all doing today? If you are Monique, you should be doing the happy dance because you literally brought Netflix to their knees. But like everything that happens on social media, folks just can't be happy for her. Y'all, what am I talking about? Monique is facing a huge backlash for winning her Netflix lawsuit. A huge backlash for winning her Netflix lawsuit. Now, listen, what's the reason for that backlash? A lot of people are still in their feelings about what happened between Monique and D.L. Hewley. But then I did a little dive in and I said, wait, this goes actually deeper than that. And we're about to go into it. Before we do, y'all, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you're on reality TV, I'm doing Real Housewives in Atlanta, Love and Marriage, uh, uh, Huntsville, Love Island, right after the shows. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. Your girl's coming back. All right, so let's get into this, right? Y'all, what is the problem? Monique won her lawsuit to uh, against uh, Netflix. It was a long, hard battle. Why is this relevant? Because D.L. Hewley threw in her face. That's why nobody likes you. That's why nobody wants to work with you. That's why uh, 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 this, that, and the third. You would think people would be happy about it. You would, drink, you would think the judge saying that Monique showed that they had retaliation and that Monique's claims of it being systematically biased toward black women will be considered a victory by all people, but apparently not. Because I just have a few questions and we really need to actually talk about this, right? A couple of y'all people jumped in um, a couple of y'all people jumped in my comments and wanted to let y'all know that y'all legal eagles. So we're going to use them as uh, an example. Otis, ain't nobody coming to hear you sing Otis. And I'm just going to actually just literally use this as a starting point. Because even though I'm using this as an example, there were hundreds of people literally mad and hating that, in my opinion, a black woman got something. Now, let's just get this straight. Do I agree with everything Monique says? No. Do I agree with the advice she gives young black women? No. I find it incredibly dated. Free yourself from those shackles. However, can I separate Monique from what her actually standing up for not just herself, but what it meant for the culture? Can I understand that she moved the culture forward for black women, right? Because don't know, everybody seems to be so concerned about black men. She moved the culture forward for black women. She did love her or hate her. Listen, not all heroes wear capes, but let's get into this. Otis Michael says, no, the judge did not agree with either party. Netflix and Monique agreed to withdraw a lawsuit and the judge agreed. A company or person settling out of court doesn't necessarily mean any wrongdoing. A lot of times it's just a cheaper option than fighting in court. She probably got somewhere between two and five million and has an NDA so she can't talk about it. First of all, Otis, right? Let me take it easy because you're trying to say the judge did agree and actually issued from the base saying that he found that Monique had proved her issues of retaliation. He did agree with one party. He did. He did. And he even said that Monique didn't have to prove that further going. He found that. This is one of the reasons Netflix chose to settle. Second of all, can I just say this for y'all? I know a lot of y'all don't know law, but I am well versed and covered in the blood of the law. And I will assure you that when the EEOC gives you a ruling saying that they believe you have enough evidence to sue for violation of EEOC, most companies settle because it's cheaper. But not for the reason y'all think. They settle because it is cheaper for them. Because once you have that ESO filing, nine times out of 10, it means a jury is going to rule in your favor. They settle because they read the goddamn writing on the wall. Not because it's like, oh, whatever, let's just go away. If you think that a multi-billion dollar corporation accused of racial discrimination is going to roll over and settle just because it's cheaper, you don't know corporate America and you don't. Sometimes a company does do that. And it doesn't necessarily mean any wrong, but let's not forget she had the EEOC permission, right? She probably got somewhere between two and five million. Again, why are y'all trying to take this woman's victory away? Now, had Netflix been, she's uh, Netflix been, um, uh, uh, had Netflix been the one that was triumphant, y'all be rubbing in her face. See, that's why you shouldn't. It just shocks me so much that when Dave Chappelle said that he was right, when Dave Chappelle said that he 
when Netflix to pull all this stuff. And he sued Netflix for not paying him what he was worth. Everybody rallied around Dave Chappelle. Everybody was like, let's get into formation. It's time for a prayer circle. Why when Monique did it, not only can't we be happy that she actually did triumph against a huge multimedia conglomeration, why in the hell are people acting like, right? Why in the hell are people acting like now it's a problem? This is a whole lie. She didn't win. Yes, she did. They settled. They settled because Netflix couldn't win. She lost because she'll never get the pay she thinks she deserves now. Monique has several upcoming projects. She's even working again with Lee Daniels. Her star is on the rise. And I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't do something with Netflix in the future. But even if she doesn't, the fact that you guys are wishing that this woman does bad, even when you can do a Google search and see that she's having a career renaissance and she is on the way up again. Y'all want this black woman to do bad? And I'm not even being funny. Y'all want to see her in the dirt. You're writing fan fiction after she had a huge win. You are writing fan fiction saying, oh no, she lost and she's never gonna get the pay she deserves now. Why? Because you guys are too cowardly in your lives to actually stand up for what you believe in and stand up for yourself. So you're mad. You're mad that she demanded what she was worth and you're mad, as mad, you're mad that she got it instead of saying, well, damn, let me start asking for what I'm worth. But you know what? We know that mentality. P. Sonic said she was only offered 500,000 like others millions of dollars. She deserves to get paid and I'm for Monique. Thank you. But you know that was a woman saying it because oddly enough, why almost all the comments and almost what everybody said, why was it a man? Now, Train With Me said, Netflix settled to get it over with. That is not why they settled. They settled because they saw the writing on the wall that most likely they were going to lose if it got taken to jury. And not even that. And Monique took the jury. Netflix right now is being sued. Let me just say this. Netflix right now is being sued by all their Black employees for systematic discrimination, harassment, and whatnot. They literally settled with Monique because one, she got the EEOC papers. And two, if they kept going, the writing was going to be on the wall and other people might have joined the lawsuit. That's not the same as just settling because it's just easier you wanted to go away. It was strategic. Now, let me tell you something. If Netflix had a case, Netflix got a billion dollars. You really think a million dollars on lawyer fees, whatever they paid her, they would have paid less than lawyer fees. You really honestly think they paid that much just because they don't want to pay some lawyer's fees? Y'all swear y'all be knowing the law and the way these big corporations are, and you don't. You don't. It's just some fan fiction on how a black woman, even when she triumphs, right? And a black woman, she needs to be punished for not staying in her place because her place is at the bottom of the barrel. They went on to say, they'll make it back with Squid Games. Shut up. First of all, dummy, Netflix hasn't turned a damn profit since they started. That's why they're actually scaling back all their operations because they're actually on the verge of not going bankrupt, but they're on the verge of being in a tight, tight way. Netflix literally is in a crisis right now. Why don't you Google MSNBC and learn something? But let's continue, right? Um, Netflix will replant that contractual clause and any loopholes and every last black woman will lose because of her. Again, you write in fan fiction that because a black woman stood up for herself, it's somehow a bad thing for black women and every other black woman's gonna pay when this is nothing but good. How come nobody has this to say when it's black men, right? Um, they, she said, I hope that 35 million was worth the babies who won't be able to get a foot in the door. Hayton, there wouldn't be any proof of a negotiation. It was not a black and white email because it was on a phone call and that was Netflix air. Sydney wanted more money and that's it. He did not negotiate more money for Monique. He asked why didn't Monique get X and Y because Dave Chappelle's X and Y over the phone. That's how negotiations work. Again, I understand you work at 7-Eleven. No shade to anybody who works at 7-Eleven. And you don't understand how negotiate, negotiations work and salaries. And literally the EO, EOC found that why Netflix systematically uses this to, way to negotiate. This is their practice. And when it came to Monique, they did not give her the same practice and refused to have any talks about the money going on, right? Um, let's see. So technically there was no negotiation. Dummy, that's what she won for. Netflix gives everybody in a negotiation. They did not give Monique that courtesy because she, Monique says because she is a black woman. And she also pushed up the receipts that Netflix has systematically moved against black women, right? 
There's nothing for Netflix to respond to. Netflix already settled. They already knew they lost, and so did the EEOC. Sydney admitted on Breakfast Club they did not technically negotiate. Netflix will make back that and learn their lesson dealing with people like Monique and her management. Oh, now because the black woman stood up, Shane, no black woman's ever going to have a job? All right. Netflix made an offer to Sydney, asked why she couldn't get X, Y, blah, blah. Monique will probably... Uh, Listen, you're a goddamn idiot, whoever trained with me. You're an idiot. And I just wanted to let everybody know that. But there's actually just one more I wanted to actually touch on, right? Listen, again. Listen, hold on. I don't think this case is necessarily being vindication. It's really setting a bad precedence because it may make it harder for comedians and producers going forward to get their shows and streaming services. Is that why Dave Chappelle, Amy Schumer, and one other person just got, shut up. If they can sue, they'll feel like they're not being offered the money they think they should be paid or claim discrimination. These services are going to be more cautious about who they deal with. At this point in Monique's career, people are not supporting her as they did in the past because they're entanglements with people. Even if past she was not pulling in millions of dollars or even paid even a million dollars for a comedy show, that is not true. Or acting jobs individually. But collectively, maybe she did. An underscore judgment doesn't mean she necessarily got a lot of money. But going forward, we'll see how her career goes. It's going great. I personally don't think that she is the star she thinks she is. Okay, so what did we just learn? And again, this is a sad thing. We can get behind black women, black men till the cows come home. But when it comes to black women, we got people begging and hoping that we don't succeed. And when we do, they find ways on how our success really isn't success. It's a sad day in America. It 100% is, right? Again, Aaron Anderson, thank God, said, uh, wow, someone's speaking and struggling. Hold on. I wanted to say something. Wow, someone's speaking and struggling so bad, spewing so much bad information. Rhetoric is crazy. Aaron, shut your dumb butt up. I'm well versed in the law, baby. And I know you don't even have a high school diploma by this mess you are. And so many people believe it's even crazier. I was going to just, uh, in her point and point, but there's so many, it's just daunting for someone who clearly doesn't care to really research anything and just spits off whatever comes to her head and thinks it's law. It is baby. I do know the law and I know I'm well versed in the canon of the law, but thank you, Aaron. Right. And just spits out whatever comes to her head and thinks it's law and how things work. It's sad. Other women will believe her. All she is doing is looking at articles, even the quote from the judge that she spoke of. It was everything in the preliminary trial in 2020. That's not true. Anyway, you guys, listen, um, all I go out to say is um, there's a real problem that's going on in the community. And Monique is indicative of it in the way she reacts to it and the way she's used and then the way people react to her. But all I want to say, y'all, is don't ever let anybody tell you standing up for your rights is wrong. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you don't got a right to spew off and say what's on top of your head. Because let me tell you something. Most of the people saying you don't know what you're talking about don't know what they're talking about and don't even got a pop to pee in. That's all I'm going to say. And Aaron Anderson, for you, I hope getting this off made you feel good. But guess what? Monique still sitting in millions, still stood up for herself, still doing more for her life than you are. And you're just sitting here in our in the comments looking stupid and acting stupid, y'all. Let's get it together. But shout out to Monique, regardless of what you think of her, thank you for moving the culture forward and for all the men holding on to her knees, trying to hit her in the knees and keep her on her knees, baby. It's a new day. And listen, y'all couldn't do it on your own. So it looks like you're just going to have to bow down and let the real queens take over. All right. Listen, everybody. Thanks so much. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.